thing first, let me give it a buck. I just want Trump out. You know what I'm saying? I, of course, want free Medicare. And this is why it's important to have free Medicare, because look, look, look what's happening right now. You see why we should have been having free Medicare for a long time? I, of course, think that we need a uh, free college education. That's second. And I want Black people to stop getting killed. And no justice for it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I just want more stricter laws that is fair to black citizens. And you know, it's fair for cops too. If you kill somebody that is that doesn't have a weapon on them, you go to jail. You know what? If I kill somebody, I gotta go to jail. You gotta go to jail too. A few years later. In the world, yeah, New they be like New York is dirty, and it is dirty, and we're gonna get even dirtier with the budget cut. And yeah, we talking about we we could fund two wars. That's like a trying to front, like yeah, I got the money to support two, but you really don't. Y'all talking about y'all don't y'all don't make negotiate negotiation with the Ops, but y'all need to sit the down with these people and find a and, and find agreement. No, we cannot fund these wars. We can't. All right, guys, so we got to talk about Cardi B. Cardi B, a person who came out and gave a full-throated endorsement to the Democrat Party in 2020, okay? She voted for Joe Biden, right? Now, she was a Bernie Sanders supporter, okay? But Bernie Sanders lost uh, in the primary, so then she came out and she supported Biden and Democrats, okay? She went out there and got her audience of ignorance <laughs> to go and vote for Democrats because of, I don't know, racism, right? Orange man bad, Trump terrible, okay? Now, Cardi B uh, is speaking out against what she voted for, right? Which is a theme of 2023. One of the main themes of 2023 is people regretting their vote, right? They complaining about what they voted for. Four. Now, this is not the first time that Cardi B has spoke out. Uh, she spoke out when inflation was at its peak. Okay, she talked about how groceries were unaffordable and how everything is more expensive. Now she's speaking out again, this time in response to Eric Adams and the budget cuts that he is issuing for New York City because of the uppity illegal immigrants that don't want to stay in the multi-million dollar taxpayer funded migrant camps that Democrats set up for them because they have to by law due to their sanctuary city status, right? Uh, Eric Adams has decided, you know what, we have to cut the budget. And Cardi B, who I believe is from New York, doesn't really like to hear that, right? She does not like to hear the fact that New York is cutting their budget because New York is already a shithole. <laughs> it's going to get even worse. She knows that uh, while we're also funding wars overseas. And this is an issue that a lot of people have in this country now because the cat's out of the bag, right? It seems like we have an unlimited amount of money to fund wars while the American people are suffering. We can't even get our own house in order. And again, Cardi B, who is an ultra leftist, is realizing that the Biden administration and the Democrats, whom she voted for, uh, are complete and absolute disasters. It's only a, <laughs> a while before she comes out and says that, hey, I'm voting Trump because that's the cool thing now, right? The cool thing uh, is for these celebrities that endorse Biden to come out and say, well, I'm supporting Trump now, <laughs> right? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, we saw Michael Rappaport, maybe we'll get Cardi B. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll this. Angry right now. I'm an angry ass now. I'm an angry Y'all need to get in here, cause I'm about to I'm about to go off right now, right now. Yeah, I'm about to go off right now. Come on in, hold up. Oh, y'all outside because usually I be having like thirty thousand people by now, but I have twenty four thousand. I need y'all to spread this video. I need y'all to spread this video, and if something happens to me, it's because I'm speaking truth. So, God forbid something happens to me or my family or something is because this is after me because I'm speaking the truth. And here's the truth, right? In New York, there is a 120 million budget cut. There's a 120 million budget cut in New York that is going to affect schools, public libraries, and um, the police department. Y'all know I don't give a about the cops, but like it is what it is. There's going to be an $120 million budget cut. 
with schools, with the libraries and the cops and the police department. Yeah, now she claims that she doesn't give a F about the police. Now, why does she give a F about the police? Uh, because she's rich and she can afford her own security. But what she doesn't really understand, okay, even though she knows it's bad, what she doesn't really understand is how bad it's actually going to get in New York City. Okay, New York City, Chicago, um, a lot of these cities that are receiving a lot of these migrants are on a one-way trip to becoming third world Venezuelan cities. I'm so serious about it. In 10 to 15 years, these cities are going to be damn near uninhabitable, probably uh, sooner than that. Because what's going to happen is, is that um, they're bringing a lot of people into these cities that, you know, are committing crimes. Um, they don't have jobs. They don't have a way to work to earn any income because they have to wait for the feds. And they're living in conditions that they don't like because they're ungrateful. Now, what do people do when they don't have a means of making money? Okay. And they need to survive. Well, they turn to crime and that's, what's going to happen. A lot of these individuals, a lot of single young military age males that we let into this country, uh, because they're pretending to be, um, you know, refugees or what they're seeking amnesty or whatever. No, no, no. They're just here illegally, right? They just don't want to be in their country. Anyways. Um, again, you're going to have a lot of crime because again, you have a lot of single, uh, military age males, right? Um, you already got, uh, the women selling box on the side of the street <laughs> in Brooklyn, New York on the corner openly. Okay. So again, um, defunding the police is a big deal. Now, again, people like Cardi B, uh, she has her own security. So it, the police don't really matter to her, right? Don't really matter to her, but to, you know, everyday Americans that aren't rich, they can't afford their own private security. This is a huge, huge, huge deal. Okay. Because again, crime is going to go up and now they're going to have less resources to handle it because of these cuts and a five million dollar budget cut in sanitation of a budget cut in sanitation we're going to be drowning with rats we're going to be drowning in rats so we are going to be having a budget cut on these shits. mind you and this is why i said i'm not this is why i'm telling y'all i'm not this year don't ask me i don't give a the resume that they send, I don't give a, I'm not endorsing no presidents no more. Cause how? Yeah. So again, she was about to say, that's why this year I'm not no demo. She was about to say, I'm not a Democrat. Right. That's what she was about to say. Okay. She really wants to say, I'm not a Democrat anymore. Because again, that's how embarrassing it is, guys. It is so embarrassing to be a Biden supporter in 2023. Okay. This is why I think he's, he's cooked, right? He's toast. It's a, she don't even want it, bruh. She doesn't even want to be associated with the Democrats, right? Nobody does. Nobody does. But here's the sad part, though, right? Here's the sad part. You're going to have the bourgeoisie blacks that are going to come out here and they're going to write these think pieces and they're going to, you know, say, oh, Cardi B is miseducated. She's uninformed, which is true, right? Which is why she voted Democrat in the first place. But I'm just saying, um, that's what they're going to say. And Cardi B will probably vote Democrat anyways, right? She's talking all this junk right now, but when it comes time to line up and go to the polls and actually put your money where your mouth is and vote in the right direction, she ain't going to do it, right? She's going to line up and vote for Joe Biden anyways because of, I don't know, some issue like abortion or something, right? So again, a lot of these people will come out here and publicly distance themselves away from Biden, right? But then once they go vote, they ain't going to vote for Biden anyways. That a hundred hundred million dollar budget cut in New York City for for um schools, library, uh police safety, and sanitation. Yeah, Joe Biden's talking about like, yeah, we could fund two wars, we could fund two wars. My talking about we don't got it, but we got it. Like, we're the greatest nation. No, the not. We're going through right now. Like, say it, say it. We really going through uh, we, we, we really, 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 really are right now nah bro bidenomics <laughs> you don't understand everything is great okay the, you know that inflation the fact that uh you can't afford a house the fact that the border's wide open crime is out of control okay we're about to go into world war three nah that's made up right that's just fox news talking okay that's them uh them insurrections the maga guys right that's maga stuff right you sound like maga you sound like a maga hat wearing conspiracy theories cardi b because the Biden administration, Corinne Jean-Pierre, the affirmative action press secretary, told us that the idea that the economy is bad is made up.
right? It's made up. It's just not true, right? This is what the liberal media continues to tell people, that the economy is great. But regular people, normal people, know that it's not, right? Even Cardi B, who's rich, has sounded off on the fact that inflation is out of control. If she's feeling it, you know, normal, regular, everyday people are definitely feeling it. But again, according to the liberal media, Bidenomics is working, right? It's just the messaging, right? It's just the messaging problem. <laughs> not an execution problem, not a policy problem, messaging problem. A hundred and twenty million dollar, like where, where, where these kids are gonna go? Like, I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I'm blessed. I'm whatever. The but like, what ha what's gonna happen to my nieces? What's gonna happen to my my nephews? What's gonna happen to my cousins, my aunts, my friends? They're living. They're, they're living. That's they're, they're living in the hood. The hood, like my my. Sh like I don't give a f if I live in Jersey. I'm I'm from the Bronx. I don't want to see my affected. The Bronx, Brooklyn, it, it's gonna affect the whole New York. A hundred and a hundred twenty million budget cut on schools, libraries police department and sanitation new york is already fucking super dirty super dirty <laughs> like yo you know what's embarrassing like it's like you know like i know people from california i know people from atlanta so we always be like i was like yeah new york is the greatest place in the world yeah new york they, they be like new york is dirty and it is dirty and we're gonna get even dirtier with the budget cut and yeah we talking about we f we could fund two wars that's like a nigga trying to front like yeah i got the money to support two wars, but you really don't mm. Y'all talk about y'all don't get y'all don't make negotiate negotiation with the Ops. Well, y'all need to sit the f down with these people and find a and, and find agreement. No, we cannot fund these wars. We can't keep it a bean. We can't. She sound like a white supremacist, right? She sound she sound like a Putin supporter, right? She sound like. A... <laughs> <laughs> when did Cardi B become pro Putin? Right? She sound she sound like she sound like she got this. She got her talking points from the Kremlin, right? It's a Kremlin talking points. <laughs> because again, anybody that says something like this outside of the media, where they say, "Look, y'all need to sit out and come to a peace agreement," right? We we can't keep funding this, nah, bro. Those are Kremlin talking points. Okay, you a Putin apologist, right? Again, that Cardi B sound like she's a she's a mouthpiece for the Kremlin here. Like y'all y'all doing budget cuts on 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 the biggest city in the United States. Somebody said Cardi look behind. Stop playing with me. This shit is getting out of hand. We're really going. They they don't want to say the word, but we're going through a recession right now. We really 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 fucking are. And Major Eric said it. There is a budget cut going on the new, in, in, in New York. And little by little, it's going to go in your states. Okay? This is crazy. And then, you know, you know, so, like, you know what? I told myself this week, like, yo, the internet right now is too dark because... Celebrity drama, of course, we 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 love it. We inf we infuse with it. We watch it, but it's like, yo, that's little of what's really going on in the world right now. That's nothing compared to what's going on in the world right now. The world is in fucking shambles. After the after um after uh <laughs> the pandemic, a lot of these countries they want to do shit because everybody every all every yeah, it sounded to me like. Cardi B been watching a lot of, uh, you know, conservative commentary, right? It's like I tell you guys, the best way to red pill these people is to give them what they want, right? This is what Cardi B voted for, right? This is what a lot of these people voted for, Michael Rappaport. This is what they all voted for. Now they're out here backing away from it, right? Backing away, saying, oh, well, I'm not supporting Biden. You know, I'm not a Biden supporter. You know, I might support Trump because the writing's on the wall, man. It is an embarrassment. It is shameful. It is a social stigma. <laughs> it is a social stigma to be a Biden supporter, to openly support Biden. <laughs> Even Cardi B said, I have had enough. Okay. So, I mean, look, man, it's funny because they gave her a platform, right? They gave her a platform in 2020, 
right? They need to get her that same platform right now. So, you know, she can, uh, you know, speak this truth, right? Speak this truth. Democrats need to be listening to her right now, right? The same way they would listen to her in 2020 when they was trying to get that vote, right? But again, it, it just, it sucks, man. It really, it sucks that the country has to go to shit in order for people to realize that they voted for the wrong individual. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black and sort of perspective. Peace.